Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making Philly style soft pretzels with a spicy beer cheese dipping sauce. I know Oktoberfest has been cancelled again this year, so I thought we'd bring a little Oktoberfest into our homes. So to start this dish, we need one and a half cups of warm water. We're gonna add one tablespoon of sugar and two and a quarter of a teaspoon of dry active yeast. Give this a little stir and set this aside for five minutes to let that yeast really bloom. Then to the bowl of our stand mixer, we're going to add two and three quarters of a cup of bread flour, which is going to provide chew to our pretzels, and two and three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. We're also going to need two teaspoons of kosher salt and four tablespoons of unsalted butter. And using our dough hook, we're going to mix this on low just to start incorporating those ingredients. Once our yeast has bloomed, we're going to slowly drizzle this into our mixture and continue to mix this on low until we get a shaggy dough. Once we've achieved a shaggy dough, we're going to up the speed to medium and let this knead in the bowl for another 5-7 to seven minutes. In the meantime, we need to oil a bowl so our dough has some place to land when it's ready. Once our dough is done, we're going to tip it out into the bowl, roll it around so it's coated in the oil, cover it with a tea towel, and let this rest in a warm place for an hour. About a half an hour into our dough resting process, we're going to start working on our miso plus. So I have an 8 ounce block of sharp cheddar cheese that I'm just grating on the largest holes of my box grater. You could buy pre-shredded cheese, but that cheese tends to be a little drier, so I like to do this at home. We're going to need two cups of cheese total, so instead of using two cups of cheddar cheese, I'm going to also add a little variety to this. So I have four ounces of American cheese and four ounces of pepper jack cheese, which is simply a Monterey Jack cheese with some chilies incorporated throughout. This would have been more ideal as a block of cheese, but I'm basically just using what I had in my refrigerator, so I'm just tearing up these pre-sliced pieces. So once all our cheese is prepped, we're going to wrap it up in the parchment and keep it covered and pop this in wool and set it aside. We're also going to need an egg wash, so I have one egg yolk I'm just beating with one tablespoon of water. And I'm also going to put a little pretzel salt in a bowl just so I don't contaminate the whole bag. And pretzel salt is this nice, beautiful, pearlized salt that's not going to melt. We also need to prep two baking sheets. I'm just greasing up a little parchment and laying it on top. And at this point, you want to be preheating your oven to 450 degrees. Now that our dough is ready, we're going to tip it out onto our workbench and just give it one or two little kneads. We just want to make sure the dough is nicely soft and smooth and supple. And then I'm going to use my bench scraper to section this off into eight equal portions. So I do this by cutting our little dough ball in half, then taking one of those halves, cutting that in half, and then taking those half and cut halves and cutting those in half as well until we get eight equal pieces. We're only going to be working one piece of dough at a time, so keep those other pieces covered. You could pop those back in the bowl and put the towel back on. Now working one piece at a time, we're going to roll out one piece of dough into a 30 inch rope. Now we're doing Philly style here, as I mentioned, so we're going to twist once, twice, bring this over, and then just tuck it under that other edge and continue to do this until you have eight beautiful little Philly pretzels. So over the stove, I have 10 cups of water that we need to add three quarters of a cup of baking soda to. Stir this around until it dissolves and this comes up to a simmer. Then we're gonna drop in three pretzels at a time, depending on the size of your pan. And we're only gonna let this boil for 30 seconds. We just wanna form a nice, beautiful crust like you would get in a bagel. Once they start to float, take them out, drain off any excess water, put them on the baking sheet, and we're going to brush this with our egg wash and sprinkle with our pretzel salt. This is going to cook in the oven at 450 degrees for 15 minutes, but halfway through, go in and switch the position of your pans, bring the lower one to the bottom and vice versa because you want this to cook evenly. While our pretzels are cooking, we're going to start on our beer cheese dipping sauce. So over medium heat in a saucepan, I'm going to melt two tablespoons of unsalted butter and we're going to let this melt completely. And then once we start to notice little bubbles forming, we're going to drop in two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And we're again making a roux, we've done this before. We want to cook out that raw taste, so we're only going to let it cook for two minutes. But I like to stand and whisk this the entire time because I don't want anything to burn. 
So after two minutes, we're gonna add in one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a half of a teaspoon of ground garlic, a half of a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, and one and a half tablespoons of Dijon mustard. If you don't want a spicy beer cheese dipping sauce, substitute out that cayenne for a little paprika. That'll work perfectly. So let's give this a little mix before we add in three quarters of a cup of warm milk. We really want to whisk this the entire time to incorporate all the ingredients. And next in goes three quarters of a cup of beer. I'm using an IPA here, but you could use a stout or a Guinness, um, which is more traditional in a beer cheese, but use whatever you have on hand. We're gonna bring this up to a boil, and then we're gonna lower the heat to low, and we're gonna start adding in our cheese in increments. You wanna let that first batch start to melt before you add in the second batch. And you wanna stir this kind of in a figure eight. It helps melt the cheese, but whatever makes you the most comfortable, just start adding in your cheese in small batches until all of your cheese is added in. Our pretzels are looking good. We're gonna take them out of the oven and let them rest on a baking sheet. Now I'm adding a lot of black pepper to this because I love black pepper, but use as much as you like for your taste. And we can turn off the heat and let that cheese dip rest a little bit. I'm pushing the pretzels onto the baking rack or cooling rack and off of the parchment. We're gonna let this cool down for about five minutes. We do want these a little warm because there's nothing better than a warm, soft pretzel. Now let's plate this. I've just put a couple pretzels on a little serving tray, adding our beer cheese dip to a bowl because I want a double dip and I don't wanna offend anyone here. So let's give these a taste. That beer cheese is gonna thicken as it cools down, but I just can't wait. The texture of these pretzels is perfect. The beer cheese dip is spicy. It has that beer flavor. It has that beautiful, luscious, silky cheese throughout it. And the pretzels are chewy and just perfect. These are so easy to make. And I really do hope you guys try to make this and bring a little Oktoberfest into your house. But there it is, Philly style soft pretzels with a spicy beer cheese dipping sauce. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. If you loved it, subscribe and hit that notification bell because I put out new videos every Thursday. Thanks again and until next time, happy cooking. Finally gonna use this. I bought this about a month and a half ago, but now we're going to use it today.